This is my newly created smart trash can and this is me after receiving 100 text messages from it at 4 a.m. that the trash is full. It all started when my wife asked me if I can take out the trash. And I thought to myself, what if there would be a way that no one would ever have to ask me or tell me that I need to take out the trash or that the trash is full and I need to take it out? What if I would just know that the trash is full? What if, what if? there is a way that I can do this. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just look at the trash bin and see if it's full? And honestly, I don't think that's possible. What? Is it possible? Can I, can I actually just go to the trash bin and look if the trash is full? Nah. Anyways, knowing myself, that would not work out. But I knew I needed to do something about this. So I decided to look into smart garbage cans. Not like actually look into the garbage can. I mean, do research about smart garbage cans. After some extensive and thorough research, I found a way to create my own smart trash can. So the idea of the design is to have a microcontroller somewhere around here, and then we would have a sensor right on top of the garbage pin. So the sensor would then determine if the trash is full or not. Once it determines that the trash is full, it will send a text message onto my phone saying that it's time to take out the trash. And once I do take out the trash, I'll get another text message saying that, thank you for taking out the trash. And I'm like, no problem, trash bin, anytime. So I got a Raspberry Pi. No, no, not this one, but this one. Bought a sonar sensor and got to work. I wrote some code and created a Twilio account to send text messages using Python. After some time of testing and coding, it was finally done. It was time to put this into action. Using some double-sided tape and duct tape, I attached a sensor and Raspberry Pi under my sink or right on top of the garbage bin. And now I just had to wait. On the first night, I ended up getting over 100 text messages that the trash was full. And I also got some thank you messages for taking out the trash. This was kind of annoying, but unfortunately, uh, this all happened just because the sensor fell off and it was an easy fix. So I grabbed some more duct tape and put it on there to support it. Finally, the moment that the trash level started reaching full was coming up after a couple days. I got my text message that the trash is full, this time for real. Then immediately after that, I got another text message that thank you for taking out the trash. And this happened because the trash was not uniform. So the sensor was measuring the distance and it was determining that for this measurement, it was in the right level. And for the next measurement, it was out of that level. So I thought that it took out the trash, but I did get the memo. I had to take out the trash, which I did. I walked, I took out the trash and then I got a text message after taking out the trash that thank you for taking out the trash. After one week of using this tr trash can, like things, things were okay, you know, like I was getting my text message, I was able to take out the trash. But there was one, this one particular evening, I was just watching TV and I got a text message that the trash is full. And I thought, you know, I'll just do it tomorrow, right? Like I'm, I'm just tired, I just wanna relax, just watch TV, watch some TV shows, and just, just have a good time. And about an hour later, I got another text message saying that I know you're sitting on a couch, so get up off the couch and go take out the trash. So I went and took out the trash. Then after taking it out, I got a passive aggressive text message. That wasn't so hard or was it? And I was like, how the heck did the smart trash can know that I was like sitting on a couch? There's like no way for it to know. But then I remembered that I wrote the code. For so so I, I put it in the code. Despite of that, I, I honestly, I feel like I spent so much more time on like actually maintaining the sensor making sure things work and like obviously it's a prototype I probably needed to add like more sensors for it to be more stable and get the text message correctly and everything it just wasn't worth my time even though there was not much purpose of this invention for me there is an actual real world application for the smart garbage can when the trash bins on the city streets get full and they're not emptied in and on time that the trash starts overflowing and causes the waste to go onto the streets because people keep putting trash into trash bins that are full and so it just it's not gonna be there anymore it's not gonna stay you you get my point you get my point it's gonna be overflowing and that's disgusting so when it comes time to pick up that trash then significantly more time is spent on cleaning the surrounding area 
from the trash. Thanks to smart trash cans, we would know before the trash starts overflowing. Thus, some cities around the world have started to use smart trash cans to reduce the hours spent on trash collection. Hopefully more cities can take this initiative of using smart trash cans. So thank you so much guys for checking out this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and seriously, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because we're over halfway to 1,000 subscribers, and if you subscribe, and we reach 1,000 subscribers, I wanna start giving away $100 every month to my subscribers. And that's it, I'm out of here, bye.